Hear ye, hear ye. Gather round, my friends, and Duck Roger shall tell you a tale of adventure and excitement and of woe and perhaps a bit of thievery and blood sucking savagery. <laughs> blood sucking? <laughs> Bloodthirsty savagery. Uh, okay, that's my intro, and uh, I hope you all enjoy this, because it's kind of a, a hodgepodge of a bunch of clips that I had recorded over the past uh, several hours, trying to squeeze in some recording time while my uh, house is being torn to shreds by construction workers, so people in and out of my office, and um, it was... Uh, a little bit of a challenge. However, I have accomplished quite a bit, and I'd like to show that to you right now. First of all, uh, check out my nice cash sweatpants here. You'll see how I got these momentarily, and this lovely shield as well. And also a nice casual shirt. Check it out. Oop, wrong one. <laughs> it's on. Right, casual shirt, sweatpants. They're pink and very comfortable. So, oh, and a gong. I've had this gong. So anyway, sit back, relax, and this. Uh, I'm going to roll this footage. And again, it's going to be kind of cut up in various bits and pieces, but hopefully I'll be able to make some sense out of it when I start editing it, because I haven't done that yet. I'm just recording this now to tell you what's going on and blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, we'll see you soon, and, uh, 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 and here we go. Let's roll them. All right, Mr. Mohawk, I thought we were friends, but I believe you're holding out on me. What is this? What's this then down here in the basement? All locked up tight. Is that yours? Hmm? Hmm? Holding out on me? Jeez, and I thought we were friends. Wait. Wait, no, we can... What are you telling me? You want me to leave? Is that it? Oh, fine. Open the door for me. Is that how it's going to be? Well, I wasn't going to ask, but this dresser right here is actually a glitch dresser. Hmm? Hmm? You've been spying on them, haven't you? Haven't you? I found your tunnel, you know, under the glitch village. You're some kind of spy? Oh, see, now you don't want me to leave. Now you're willing to talk, huh? All right. Sit on the stool. Come on, let's chat. Like buddies. Just get over here. Go ahead, have a seat. On the stool, man. Come on, you're making me nervous, all this pacing. Sit. Oh, now I have to leave again? Oh, I wish you'd make up your mind. And this clock up here, too. Listen, this is a glitch clock. We don't make clocks like this. Birds don't like clocks. We don't need clocks. Yes, this one right here. That one. You stole it from the glitch, didn't you? Listen, pal. Yeah, close the door. That's right. Now we're talking again, aren't we? I see. Come on, fess up. I don't... All right, now you're ready to talk. I don't even like the glitch. Okay, don't worry about it. They attacked me. I'm not happy with the glitch. But this... Very curious about that down there, my friend. That looks like a chest. Difficult to get to. Looks hidden. I didn't even see it until I flashed my flashlight down there. So... Is it yours? Yes? No? Because it could be a bomb, and I should probably check that out. I can't just leave without having a, a quick peek. I mean, what are, what are friends for? It might be rigged. could be booby-trapped. Oh, sorry about the flashlight in the eyes. You don't really talk much, do you? Is it the flashlight? Okay. Tell you what. Check that out. And then, uh, then I'll go. Because, uh, well, I feel like I've overstayed my welcome here. All right, yep, that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, um, I'm going to take a little nap first, though. I'm kind of tired here. You mind? Just cover me. Ah, thanks, pal. Good friend, good friend, Mr. Mohawk. Oh, and I'll buy something before I leave, okay? He sells wonderful clothes. Oh, look at all this. Secrets, secrets, secrets. So many secrets out here in the wild. Ooh. Now, why do you suppose all this is blocked off so tight? Oh! Is that a... Wait. Is that fake? <gasps> it's a hidden trap door. Wow! There's more to you than meets the eye, my friend. I don't know if you took this house from a glitch or if they set this up to spy on you. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, come on. What, 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 what? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Never mind the... Oh, I... Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Found it. Mine. Got it. 
Nothing in here. Not much. Not a bomb, anyway. It's safe. <clears throat> you can have that chest. Yeah, have a seat. That's a good idea. Here. Let's fix up your floor, because it looks weird like that, I gotta say. And I'm gonna give you some, uh... I'm gonna give you some nice cobblestone brick. It's kinda, sorta, kinda gonna match a little bit. Watch your feets. Hey, uh, Mohawk, you gotta, you gotta move your feet. Um... Okay, so... <clears throat> whoops. Ooh, jeez. Put that away. That's why I carry a flashlight around, friends. Uh... <clears throat> So, yeah, I think you're clear, man. There was no bomb down there. Just, um, stones. White stones. Just white stones. Kind of boring. I'll just take them. All right. All right. See ya, buddy old pal. All right. Adios, then. Good man. Good man. Keep up the spying, I think. Let's get out of here. Ooh, a chest. This is just a little bit to the west of our Mr. Mohawk friend's house. And check it out. A green flashlight. Neat. A poop smacker. Not so neat. A pathetic smasher, but it is uncommon. Eh, not too shabby, but it's not nearly as good as my tomahawk. And some squeaky thing down there. But check this out. Ocarina. In Ocarina. Make sure you have time to practice. Nice. <gasps> Mr. Mohawk. No. You ate Mr. Mohawk! <laughs> you dirty bugger! I thought merchants were invincible! Oh no, the glitch. They must have been spying on him. Maybe they found out that he was a spy and they sent that... dirty, rotten... eater of Mohawk people. They sent the monster after him. He's gone! Mr. Mohawk, I was gonna play a lovely tune for you, sir. Oh, well, we'll just pretend he's there. My old friend. Old friend, Mr. Mohawk. Let's, let's play him a little song. For our old friend. <laughs> Sniffle. I miss him so much. Mr. Mohawk. You were a good man. Had the best sweatshirts in town. Was a great spy. But in the end, the glitch caught up with him. Poor fella. Never got to earn his wings. I think... It's time for vengeance. Okay, you ready for this? Let's go do it after I take a quick nap. I can't believe they killed Mr. Mohawk. Savages. Absolute savages, those glitch. Terrible, terrible creatures. Well, Mr. Mohawk, my old buddy, old pal, it is now time for me to go and seek vengeance. For your death at the hands of the evil, vile glitch. You shall have not died in vain, my friend. You shall make them pay. Whee! For the cause. For all avian kind. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. <clears throat> you there. Oh, well, I'm Duck Rogers, and I'm going further. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You miss me, Sir Knight. Try again, fool. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Whee. Oh, Ooh, nice charge. Okay, fine. We're gonna play that way. <laughs> Forsooth! Stop shooting me. <laughs> Where's your king? Yeah. What the heck are you shooting at me? with? Pea, pea shooter? What is that thing? Spitballs? Come on. Do better than that. Oh, hi. <laughs> Ooh, wow. It's a big place. They did attack me first, by the way. They certainly did. They shot first. The other side of the bridge. I originally came through. There's my tunnel, by the way. Whoa. Did I say my tunnel? No, I didn't mean my tunnel. Meet me on the bridge, good sirs. 
Hier. None shall pass. Oh. Where are you going? Get back here. Oh, it's the king. Oh, he blocked me. What did I get? This guy's dropping some good stuff. Good stuff indeed. I have dealt with the king. Ah, it's pretty horrible damage, actually. <laughs> I think it does less than my... Uh... Oh, I, don't, I can't see the damage on my bow. Um, it looks like it might be kind of fun to shoot, but doesn't really do a heck of a lot, does it? But I will try this new shield. This is a piston dinner tray. Mm -mm. Door, this was the king's shield, right? Let's, let's try that out. Ooh, very nice. Now, I won't kill the innocent bystanders. I won't kill civilians. I'll only fight anyone that attacks me. So, most likely just the people in uniform. What? Come here. I'm not a bad guy. You killed my friend, though. Your king had my friend killed. No! Oh! There we go. Oh, you have a gun. Marksman's Enforcer. What is that? So they have uh, crossbows. They just do the terrible damage. Oh, somebody's fighting. He's fighting a bird. Hey, thanks, pal. Appreciate it. I'll just take that gun. Huh. Watchful Kingslayer. It's a little late. King has already been dealt with. There it is. Look at all the cool stuff in this place. We're going to have so much fun here. Hello. Uh, Lord? Yeah, I kind of had some business with the Lord. It's too bad that they attacked me outright. Because we could have lived in peace. Whoa, nice. I can do that too. <laughs> do you have meat? You don't drop meat, do you? Tidal Wave Smasherizer. Tidal Wave Smasher. Oh, it's a shield. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. All right, you three-eyed freak. Settle down in there. All right, now, this is a hold-up. Hand over all of your goodies. Come on. Everything. Empty your pockets. I want the cash. I want the linens. I want the silk. Let's go. Let's see it, and I'll let you out. Oh, hi. Oh, is today... It's recording day. Oh, right. Uh, I mean, hi. Uh, uh, hello down there, fella. I'm Duck Rogers, and I'm here to let you free. Who would have put you down in that hole? What a dastardly, nasty being. Come on out. Come on. I won't hurt you. I'm here to save you. I'm Duck Rogers of the 24th and a half century. Come on out. There we go. All right. So, hi. I'm here to buy some wares from you. I would never steal anything, of course. And you have some fine linens, don't you? Okay. Uh, tell you what, I would like to purchase a, uh, hmm, a nice casual shirt would look great. What do you say? A casual? Blue? Red? Yeah, that's my color. Okay, there we go. Thanks, fella. <laughs> Bye. All right, so I was just doing a little um, shopping here with this merchant. Nice fella, that. Found him in a hole. Had to let him out, of course. Who oh, would have put him in that hole? Terrible, terrible things happening here. Oh, hi. Hello, uh, monkey. So, another another merchant here. Excellent. All right, well, I would um, save you from a hole if you happen to be in one, but it looks like you're okay. But um, how do you deal with that guy? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I did to shoot you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Shot the monkey. Yeah, yeah. Shot the monkey. No, don't go in the hole, you crazy fool. There's a mad, evil creature down there. Here, I got him. Don't move, monkey. Don't move, monkey. I'll save you. All right, come on out. Weapon? Yeah, all right, it's gone. Yeah, let's... I think, I think this is the way out. Follow me. Come on, you. What do you sell, anyway? Oh, you have a cool jacket. Hmm. And sweatpants. All right. You know, I like to wear casual sweats at night when I'm in my... in my, uh... in my ship, and I just want to hang around the house. I think pink sweatpants ought to do fine. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, looks like you need a hand out of here, huh? Well, all right, I'll send you a rope. How's that? Let's see, can I... Can you use ropes? Okay, pal. 
listen up. I'm gonna help you here. And I'm not really sure how to use rope because I don't ever use it, so. Hey, let's save the monkey. We've already shot the monkey. Now I wanna save the monkey. Come on, monkey! Oh, it's just the one here. Grab on. <laughs> Grab on my belt. Grab my feet. Something. Come on, monkey. Ah. <sighs> oh no, look, now my, my rope snapped. Okay, so I am Duck Rogers, hero of the 24th century. Certainly not pirate or bandit or thief or no. No, 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 no. Of course not. Now, oh, by the way, welcome back. And I want to show you guys, this is the uh, the glitch castle. And I wanted to, I actually wanted to do that a little differently today. But I ended up not recording at first when I when I had originally found this because I had some construction going on here. Now it's uh, it's past construction time. Everybody... All the people here working at my house have left, so it's kind of quiet now. And I have a, a quick minute here to kind of do an intro that I had hoped to do earlier, but uh, I wasn't able to. So here's what I did. I found this place. I walked up. There was a guard here, and um, I said hello, and he attacked me. He attacked me first. I promise you that um, Han didn't shoot first in this case. So Duck, Duck did not shoot first. So he attacked me, and then I was like, okay, if that's the way it's going to be, let me figure out a way to get in here without hurting anyone. And I want to get past it, actually. And I wanted to show you guys this as well. But this is right in the thick of the uh, the construction. So I came down here, and I made a little tunnel. And I thought, well, how can we how can we make this like a role-play thing? Um, so I was coming up with some ideas while I'm down here. And I thought, well, maybe I can be a spy, or maybe I found this. And someone was spying on the glitch. Um, and I was going to show you all the cool stuff inside here. There was a king sitting there. And, uh, ended up getting past it, as you already had seen. And I bumped into Mohawk Man. Mr. Mohawk. Not too far off, as we have already seen that particular encounter. So, I don't, I don't need to explain all that again, but... That was my intention, was to get through here and then, um, come back and record this later for you. But things went a little sour with uh, <laughs> with the glitch. And, of course, uh, meeting Mohawk Man added a whole new dimension to things. And I came up with a little idea for that. So um, it is what it is. But, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I didn't kill all those glitch uh, indiscriminately. We have we had a little history. We definitely had history together. They did kill me. They did actually. They didn't kill me. They did attack me, though. So. I just wanted to clear the air about that, because it did seem afterwards, after I'd killed all those bums, I thought maybe that was a little bit, uh, it was a little bit brutish of me, wasn't it? A little, little barbaric, and probably unbecoming of a Duck Rogers uh, hero type. So, yeah, so that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Now let's go get the spoils. <laughs> uh, gigantic gate. You know I'm coming back for that. I'm going to come back for a lot of this stuff. Don't run away. I'm a good guy. Really, I am. You just caught me on a bad day. Come back. I'm okay. Hey, look. I don't I don't have a weapon in my hand. I have a flashlight. I'll show you the way. Wait, dude. Come back. It's okay. Everybody seems to run away from me. Hello. <laughs> no, sir. I don't bite. I'm not that kind of duck. Listen. We can be friends. Uh, fine. All right, well, let's check the storage. Let's just take everything. We've got some bars here. I'm going to go through everything and just see what we got. Look at this. All kinds of goodies. I can't wait to just take this stuff. Maybe I'll just move in. This is a really nice castle. Is it a ducky home? I don't know. We can make it into a ducky home, I suppose. Now it's night, so let's close the doors. I wouldn't want my citizen friends here to be eaten. Hi, guys. It's me. Hello. Duck Rogers here. No need to run. And what is this? A barrel? Here's a basket. That's cool. A glitch dresser. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. Let's throw some on. Oh. Everybody's going into their rooms now and slamming the doors. I'm going to cook up some of the steaks. So, this Duck Rogers is quite the hunter now. So, this thing is actually a uh, hunting weapon, which means when I kill things with it, um, animals, mobs... They have a potential to drop meat for me. Still don't trust them all. These might be the type to stab me in the back. Oh, the would-be king. Oh, 
that's going to go in our codex. And we'll read it. But first, let's just go loot everything. Oh, I love the globe. Nice. Here's the clock. Glitchy clock. And we have a throne. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I do not seek power. Nope. Anybody in there? Okay. Just checking. Can't be too careful. Careful in these castles. Careful in the castles. The would-be king. Another booklet. And I suppose I'll just leave one there and I'll take one. What is this? And we have some... Oh, regular pile of books. Those will look nice somewhere. Another would-be king. Everybody's reading the same thing. Slight misunderstanding. Oh, well, that explains everything. See? I bet... I bet that'll help um, for these folks to understand what happened here. It was a total misunderstanding. Bolt O's. Unlock the Bolt O's crafting schematic. Oh. But message to guards. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have a little reading tonight, folks. I'm gonna find a nice cozy bed here. A folded note. It's well it's well folded. And we're going to do some reading. All right, let's check this part over here. Somebody, you guys really need to learn to close the doors here. And this looks like the royal quarters. All right, somebody had some money that lived... Uh, this. Okay, this is just the dining room. Looks like that's the royal chamber up there. Look at this wall. Mural, picture, everything. Awesome. I could live here, and there's plenty of space for storage. It's relatively close to the main base where everybody is over on Waz. They could come and visit. It's a little bit of a ways from the spawn. Um, however, sooner or later... Oh my gosh! You're destroying my house! What the... Asteroid! <laughs> Everybody okay? Oh my god, you tore down the whole roof! No! What did you do? Alright, we didn't break everything, but it sir That was the royal chamber. One of them, anyway. Wow! That happened um, on this planet a little while ago on the when I was looking around on the other side of the spawn. Unlocks the candy. Automato blueprint. Looks like some kind of a food item. Let's take that. And it put a huge hole in the ground. And I haven't been down there to investigate. <gasps> a wizard hat! Oh! My favorite monkey had a wizard hat. Wizard bottoms? <laughs> he did not have that, though. And a transcended blade blocker. Wow! <laughs> Look at the wizard pants. I guess we can't stick around this place too long because these, uh, these meteorites fall down. And I'm wondering... Is it because there's an asteroid field in the system? I, I, this has never happened to me. That's the ugliest and scariest looking clown I've ever seen. It's a glitch clown. That would give me nightmares if I sleep in that room. Um, I would like to sleep in the royal bed, though. Look at that thing. Yeah, I guess we could... Yeah, it doesn't bother me too much, I guess. Yeah, yeah I'll sleep there. The only other thing I'm worried about is another asteroid. Fireplace. Oh, this place rocks. Except for the um, meteors falling out of the sky. That could be a problem. That, I think that is meteorite that's falling out of the sky. Okay, let's just grab everything and get the dickens out of here. This looks like a well-appointed room for someone with some cash. King and the queen, maybe a prince or a princess. Looks like maybe it's just the study or the hangout room. Let me grab everything out of there. I'll come back and collect all these goodies. Okay, this, apparently, is the king's room. That must just be like, like I said, maybe a prince or something. And a folded note. Oh, no, I already have a well-folded note. So maybe I'll sleep in here tonight. That way I can avoid that creepy room downstairs with the, uh, with the clown face. All right, now, look at that chandelier. Oh, this is beautiful. What a great spot. Except for the hole in the darn roof. Oh, my gosh. That's a problem. That's a serious problem. It it looks cool. <laughs> it definitely looks cool. 
But I don't want to live in a place that is subject to falling rocks. <laughs> I just broke his piggy bank. It's all mine now. Ooh, red dye. What is that? That looks pretty nice. Wow. Look at this outfit, dude. Wake up. Look at me. I said look at me. I look a, a, the real, I look a real wizard, don't I? It's actually got a little armor. Of course, I'm not getting any armor benefit, but it's an armor and scarf together. But that, that's a pretty cool look. Very magical. I'm a magical duck after all. All right. Well, sorry about the castle, folks. I, I know it, I made a little mess of it. But, well, you know, the guards attacked me. Everybody seems okay with me now, even though I'm carrying this weapon around here. Don't put, put the bomb in your hand, please. All right, let's uh, let's read some books. So I should have grabbed a bookshelf or something we can sit and read. But you know what? There's one other thing I want to do before we do anything else, and that is take my silver armor off because we're going to make. A sparrow breastplate. Now that I have enough money, barely, and some steel, and here we go. Because I did not have this full suit yet, but I do now. Ta da! 35 health, 15 defense, and 8 um, insulation. And it's fashionable. Comfortable and fashionable. Of course, we can't see it unless I take that off. But, you know what? This wizard and armor and scarf is really way too cool, man. And the wizard hat. Um. Ah, oh, jeez. You know, the wizard hat was Clyde thing. Clyde's thing. I'm liking the feather. That's a pretty good look. I look at, well, I don't know. I kind of look like a girl. Don't I? That could be a problem. How about my sweatpants since we're here at home and I need to lounge right now? That's what we're going to do. We're going to put on my lounge pants and bang a gong. Bang a gong. And read some books. Okay, folks. I think we are done here. I'm going to hit the sack. Call it a day or night. And then I'm going to head back down to that castle and grab a bunch of goodies. Maybe we'll live there. Maybe we won't. I don't know yet. Um, again, I'm not crazy about the idea of living in a castle that, um, on a planet where asteroids and meteors fall occasionally and slam into the ground, potentially destroying your home and everything in it, or at least dislodging things that you put up. <laughs> so that is something I need to ponder. So I'll sleep on it. I'll sleep on it. Most likely I'm just going to grab the stuff and go find a safer place to live but we shall see all right i gotta go hope you all enjoyed this episode of starbound with duck rogers and we'll see you next time all right bye